All right, what is going on everyone and welcome back to another Black Desert video. So today I wanted to talk about an event that's currently going on and I think it's a good one to talk about because it does give an endgame crystal potentially more and whether you're a beginner or you're an endgame sil or endgame player, this is either a lot of silver or you know a crystal that you should use. So first of all, I have a video that I've made a while ago of my crystal setup, so that's more for like endgame stuff. And the stuff that they give in this event is actually stuff that you would use. So I'll leave a link in the description to that video if you want to check out my full crystal setup. But I want to talk about this event and tell you which one you should use and why. So as of yesterday, March 20, the event that was going on until April 3rd, Basically, you collect these unknown ore things, right? You get it from grinding, gathering. You get more from grinding. And it took me roughly three hours-ish to get enough to get to 20. And then you can exchange for one item. So when you turn it in, you get the option to choose from one of six of these crystals. And I wanted to talk about which ones I think are important and which ones should you get and why. So you get to pick one of the six and I'll tell you what you should get as well. So if we look in game, hold on, let me pull this up in game. Okay, so you see these crystals right here. This is the ultimate Macalod and this is the ultimate whom. So Macalods are end game offensive crystals, which means you can you just get more damage and resources. So it does help a lot with grinding. And I think it's just overall a good one that I think most people have because, you know, grinding is what a majority of players do in this game. So for most people, I think the Macalods are going to be important to get. And obviously there's going to be less orders because um, people are obviously getting it and then selling it since they already have theirs. But if you don't, this is one I would recommend getting because you do need four of them to get the uh, four crystal set effect. So I think that's awesome. Um, Hooms are the defensive versions, which gives more like obviously defensive stats, HP, evasion, accuracy, resists and everything. And admittedly, I only see people using Hooms in PvP and or people who just enjoy playing tank eater builds and... It's more of a niche and special build setup to use Hooms. I don't think these are bad. In fact, I think these are actually really good, but it's more or it's more used in defensive builds and or PvP, whereas Macalods are um, just overall good for literally everyone, every class. Just you grind faster, make more silver. And so, yeah, this is the one I would choose for most people. And then there's the red one, which I would not pick the red one because one, you can just buy it. And first of all, if you pick like Macalot or whom, it's an easy 1 billion if you don't need the crystal and then you can sell it, buy the red one. I wouldn't do that, by the way. But e either way, you could sell it, buy the red one and still have money left over. So yeah, just don't pick the red one. It's I don't it wasn't even good back in the day. It's just more like stats you can get by food and or other buffs at a point where it it's not really that good you can get all of these stats by doing something else but you cannot get all of extra ap stats as easily you know what i mean so either way if we go back to here um of the upper ultimate crystals i would rank the blue one to mac a lot at number one for a highest priority followed by Hooms at second, and then I would really just not get the uh, Gervish one. So then there's three other crystals that you'll see, which are the Voltara Spirit, Awakened Spirit, and Black Spirit Crystal. Now this one is a little bit unique because um, some of you guys may not know what it's actually used for. So you see these crystals right here. Voltara's, um, Awakened Spirit, and... The black spirit so if you combine all of these crystals like one two and then three so like all, every single reward it allows you to make the rebellious spirit crystal which is considered a best in slot crystal for end game pveers because it just gives you a lot of offensive stats and good stuff that you want overall and i do think that these are very difficult to get to the point where 
Um, aside from the gear in, this is one of the ones where you would probably use your three yearly uh, revives if you lose this crystal on. But ultimately, it's really just gear in. But this one is a close second. So anyway, you combine the Voltara's Awakened and the Black Spirit Crystal. And then you basically make the Rebellious, which is the best one. So of the three at the bottom, like right here, these three crystals that you could pick from. Um, I would probably go with the Black Spirit one simply because you cannot get this one as easily, at least on the NA server, that is. So if you're looking to get that crystal, you can just buy these other two and then the Black Spirit one would be like the bottleneck, right? So I just picked that one. But other than that, if your server has all of them just sitting on the market, uh, just get the one that would sell for the most or the one that you need in general. And so... Yeah, if I were to rank all of them in pri priority, number one would be the Maclod, two, whom, three, the Black Spirit Crystal, um, four would probably be the uh, Voltara Spirit Crystal, because that one just has a higher value than the Awakening, and then five being the Awakened, and then six being the Gervish. I literally just do not pick the Gervish. You can't really go wrong with the other five. There are obviously better choices, but as long as you're not picking the red crystal, you're doing fine. So anyway, with that said, um, and then after you get 20 of them, you can get these, like, basically you are guaranteed to get a random amount of these. So if you don't know, um, all of these are used for processing and or alchemy as well. So all of these materials are actually really good because... Trace of Saragy is for high-end elixir crafting. Platinum Ore is for... Um, there's actually a lot of uses for Platinum, but Platinum is a very expensive one just because it's just, in general, hard to gather. So it's used for Tier 10 horse attempts to create your, like... Uh, what is it? Mythical Sensor thing. That's one of the ways to make it. And you need the Platinum thingy. And then Rust Stone is just used in general to make, um, I think, cooking and alchemy tools for life skillers. So all of these materials are actually very expensive and you get a bunch of them. So this is actually a good event in general. So, yeah, um, you just get a bunch of these and that's good. These are all guaranteed and these are all the RNG ones. So at a set probability, I'm pretty sure this is like less than 1% to get a strike crystal because these are 5 billion. And yeah, I remember having an order on the strike crystal for the longest time. And so, yeah, even after you get all these, you can only do this quest once uh, per family. And then I would just really just pick the blue one. What could go wrong? And then after that, you just keep opening the bundles and hope you get a strike crystal or something. All of these are also pretty good. So basically, I just wanted to make this video to tell you that you should be doing this event, at least getting the one family one, and it is pretty important to do. So with that said, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I didn't really think I was going to make this video, but I thought it would be a good PSA to be like, oh, if you don't do events, you should probably do this one at very least. So yeah, with that said, hopefully you guys picked the right one. Good luck on your strike crystals and or other ones, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for other stuff. Peace.